Yes, my honorable people. The long-awaited petition tribunal have just started. I won't make on a watch what till they happen their lives. Then when I go come watch the moment, Peter Obi and the Tiku's lawyers storm the judiciary today. Make on a they share this video. Let people know say they don't start and let, and watch everything what they happen here. See what they happen inside court live as we they talk right now. We're now being joined by a rice correspondent in Abuja for update on the tribunal proceedings. Not to be served and to follow the example, the King of Kings. After being to the audience and repeat. Hello, good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. Well, quickly, you are the presidential election petition tribunal. What is the situation as the uh, tribunal commenced sitting? Well, good morning, Doctor. Well, of course, uh, the tribunal, the long-awaited presidential election petition tribunal, you know, is set to commence today. Of course, it has commenced. Of course, the uh, five-member panel headed by uh, Harunat Samani made a clarion call on all parties in the suit to ensure they stick to time because they have less than three months to complete the hearing of the five petitions, you know, before the, 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 the court, as it is. So it has urged the panel, all the counsels in the suit to, in the, in the you know, in the proceedings to ensure they cooperate with the court to make uh, judicial judicial use of the time left, and it says it's going to hear all the petitions on their merit to ensure that no justice is delivered at the end of the day. So nobody is going to have any uh, you know grounds so to, to to fault the, the hearing and the, how the five member panelists had the, the the hearing of the petitions. Of course, we have Haruna Samani as the chairman of the petition um, court, and then we have Stephen Ada as the second member of the panel, and then. Mistura Bolaji Yusuf as the third, and then Abba Mohammed and uh, uh, Bula Kumo of uh, Ugo as the fifth member of the panel. So they have assured the Nigerians and all the parties involved in the suit in the panel hearing that uh, they are going to give due justice to this um, uh, hearing of the, of the uh, petitions. Of course, today, the, the, the outlook of today is uh, we're going to have three petitions heard, those of the Action Alliance and Action People's Party and the Labour Party. These are, these are the three panels, the three petitions the panel is going to hear today, whereas those of the People's Democratic Party and the Allied People's Movement will now be heard um, in the following days, Tuesday, Wednesday, up to Thursday. Then we're going to have a, uh, you know, an outlook of what is to come in the coming days or the next three months that the panel has to hear and complete the hearing of the petition seek the question of the uh, election electoral victory of Bola in the uh, february 25th presidential election of course we know there's also indication that the Action Alliance Party is seeking to uh, withdraw its um, petition. You know, of course, th th there has been an argument that its petition is uh, pre-election-like. So I guess the, the legal team has studied the petition and said it's wise for them to withdraw it. So that is what we are likely to see in the first, uh, uh, you know, first hearing today before they now move to that of the Allied People's um, uh, Action People's Party and then that of the Labour Party. That is more like the outlook of what is to come today, Doctor. Okay. All right, G Godfrey, uh, good to talk to you. Rafai here. Are they trying to withdraw or yes. they have withdrawn? I'm talking about the AA because it was a pre-election matter. It was, you know, about who emerged, you know, presidential yes. candidate was not put on the ballot. And secondly, uh, yes. the, the PD PDP did petition, you know, to be able to get this televised live on television. Is there any chance that's going to sell through? Are we going to be able to see it live on yes. television? Okay, well, that's a very good question. Of course, many Nigerians have are interested in this because of course elections no, no longer determined or polling uh, presidents are no longer uh, decided at the polling units presidents are decided at the courts as it is so nigerians want to know where their votes will fall where their votes will, will uh, lean to at the end of the day so they want to follow proceedings just like they did at the polling units of course the pdp has made us as far as shoot as it is the information is still sketchy but what i'm hearing is the pdp candidate i took up because friday as a father suit seeking permission of the court to allow uh, the cameras in the courts to to give um, you know doing justice to the petition hearing of course the oputa panel style of uh, hearing of the court proceeding that's what he is seeking to ensure people follow uh, the proceedings right there in their, in their living room but then of course um, it, that is highly unlikely at the moment because it's not in our nigeria justice system the, the, the ministry of justice has been quite silent on this of course this has been playing now this narrative has been playing up has been played up for a while now but it looks highly unlikely that this will be granted but of course it's what they try because the the the, the public interest the 
election of 2023 has evoked may just have the see the um, Ministry of Justice or those and the Justice Ministry bend the rules a bit to perhaps allow this to happen. Of course, Atiku Bakar is praying the court to allow the cameras for his own uh, petition hearing. Of course, it's hard to see how that could, could how you could pull that off if the, the court were here, if the, the cameras would be allowed in to hear his petition, whereas those of other um, uh, petitions will not be heard, you know, with the cameras in the courtroom. So that is very, it's a tough ask. But then, of course, Action Alliance Party has filed um, a notice of withdrawal. So as the panel has not yet heard its uh, notice of withdrawal, its motion and uh, subsequent withdrawal, so it can, we cannot confidently say is a petition, its petition has been withdrawn. So we just have to wait for the uh, panel to make it official before we could conclude that it has. Of course, what we have gathered is that it has filed a notice of withdrawal. So that is where that of uh, Action Alliance uh, is at the moment. So we have to wait till when the panel decides and rules on the, uh, their withdrawal, they will now conclude on that for the time being. Well, thank you very much, uh, Godfrey. Thank you very much indeed. Godfrey Eshemoge there, reporting from the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal in Abuja. We